So I had a kind of funny uh, lucid dream last night where yesterday I was messaging with my boy, How Dare You, and he was commenting on the post of me bungee jumping in New Zealand. And he was like, oh, you know, next time I go jumping off of something high in my dreams, I just shout out to it to surprise me before doing it. And it caught my attention. Well, first of all, because that's just like a great idea to kind of interject some kind of fun and excitement into the act. But I was commenting back like, shit, I should just, you know, try and incorporate that as a regular part of my lucid dreaming practice anyway just because it sounds like something fun to do. And, you know, I have tried it in the past, but I don't ever clearly remember, you know, getting like a, getting like an instant reaction like I did last night with it. So anyway, I get lucid and I'm not, you know, I'm not even jumping or anything at the moment. I'm like walking in a hallway inside of a building, get lucid. And the first thing that pops into my head was our conversation. I was like, oh, you know, I should try calling out to the dream to surprise me. Now, granted, I wasn't really even expecting anything to happen because, you know, when I call to my dreams, I really only ever get a response maybe like 50, 50 percent of the time. So I get lucid. I shout, you know, surprise me to the dream, not expecting much. And then instantly I just get like, bam, nailed from above with a bunch of wet confetti. And I was like, oh, first I get hit by something like, oh, God, I get hit by. Then I feel wet. I'm like, what the hell? Feel the confetti. It's all stuck to my forehead and it's all wet and shit. And then I might look down and then my cat you know, comes walking to me out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, hey, look, you know, my cat Maki is here. So I pick up the cat and we go flying and shit. But um, anyway, uh, I was, it was kind of funny. And so it's a cool little thing you can incorporate into your practice and, you know, just uh, see what happens.